Heike, I want to thank you very much for your patience with me because four years ago you came, you gave us a great blessing to the church and in a very brief period of time I was extremely blessed when you anointed me as a prophet in the church. I had been praying for something else and that was my sin. I've been praying for something else. So when you anointed me for it as a prophet, I didn't receive it. And for a year, four years I've been asking, Lord, what happens? Where is the blessing I've been asking of you? But the blessing I had already received from uh, the Lord from, through you as a prophet. So uh, when you came uh, and you started to preach again, I have been praying so that your, the anointment of, of revelation would come upon myself through your preaching, and it came. Uh, so when you, uh, yesterday, when you were speaking, the grace of the revelation came upon me because I understood and comprehended that sometimes we do not have a humble heart, a heart that is that gives the Lord the, the glory, the honor, that he deserves because I as a person uh, was asking for something else and God had given me a bucket of blessings, of mercy, of grace and an anointment to be a servant of his in another way, not of my choosing, of his choosing. So yesterday when uh, uh, the confirmation came after the meeting I was talking to somebody who had been prayed about healing, and he says, I still feel I'm not healed. He says, it's by faith. Mm. It's by faith. Yeah. I don't commit the same mistake that I did. Because if you do not receive what God gives mm. you, mm. then it will not come to pass. Mm. That's right. And yeah. that's what was happening to me. Yeah. And that's why I was not being able to allow the Holy Spirit to move through my life uh -huh. so that I can manifest the power of His glory, because it's He, His glory, who is manifested through one, mm -hmm. but one has to be a humble mm -hmm. to receive it in the name That's of Jesus. That's right. Makes sense what you're talking. Yeah. But what happened to you yesterday, uh, no, no, last night in the meeting, when I was preaching about uh, the office of the prophet and about well, uh, the, the, the gift of prophecy. You see, after that, when there I'm, was a understanding the word, understanding the grace that God gives us through the, His word, mm. because the prophetic work in the Bible is the most effective, mm. and you, or one opens their eyes to see of how great is the ministry that God gives us as apostle, in this case, mm. prophet, because the prophet. As I told you the other day, it's like the policeman of God. Mm -hmm. He is the one who takes the direction and stops mm -hmm. or allows what God allows and what God, God hinders mm -hmm. prophetically. Yeah. And, and yesterday through the word, you were explained to the whole church and the church understood, I understood also, what uh, God is manifesting through us to understand what great important is to prophesize. Mm -hmm. What great importance is to, for one to be in the office of prophet because one can be a blessing to others yeah, yeah. when one submits to the yeah, Lord. Yeah, that's right. And a few years back, I was prophesying to you about it that you are the prophet in the church. And it has taken many years, you know, and you have been uh, because uh, of my stubbornness, thinking about, about it. my yeah, stubbornness, yeah, that, my blindness, me or what? and my uh, adamant asking of the Lord yeah. for something else yeah. that he had not given yeah. me. He yeah, had yeah. given me something yeah. which is, was greater yeah. and I was asking for uh, yeah. uh, something else. But yesterday in a meeting you got confirmation about yes. it yes. that you are prophet. You yes. have that gift yes. and God has yes. anointed you yes. as a prophet. Yes. Yes. And you started to prophesy in the church yesterday. Yes. Yes. You gave to one young uh, brother yeah, prophecy I, I, to his I, wife. I, 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 at least the, the word of God, the power of God, yeah. the prophetic word of God to, to bless a young mm -hmm. guy who was there, a brother of mine, and uh, I'm very happy for that. Yeah. Was it the first prophecy in your life, in your whole life? Yes. Uh, many years has taken place and nothing has happened, but you know, as I was preaching and teaching, teaching yesterday about it, that it might take for years before the prophecy of God comes to pass. I mean that you have had that gift inside on the inside of you all the time, but it just haven't 
open yet because you haven't used it either. You have haven't put it in action. Yeah, one has to, if one is a brick build, uh, brick mason, one has to put bricks. Yeah, but you have to use it. You yes. have to practice it. Yes, like we cannot talk about thing. putting bricks. One has to put a brick. Yeah, that's right. And God gives you a blessing. Yes. And uh, you know, it start working uh, clearer, stronger, better. And it's going to. Yeah. more and more because yeah. I'm going to put the Word of God yeah. in practice in my life. I just want to ask you one question. Yesterday when you started prophesy to the brother, uh, did you get it in a vision or did it come in your spirit, those words, what you were prophesying? As I spoke, yeah. the words came to my mouth. Okay, it's how God works. That's it, you know. You get it in your spirit and they come out of your mouth when you start speaking. Yes. Yeah, that's right. And yesterday after that, there was a, a person who was had been ill, yeah. and I started to speak the word of teaching of the word of yeah. God, and through the word, the person says, I feel heat come into my life. Uh, did it happen after you prayed yes. for the young brother? Yes. After that? Yes. You went I, to somebody and yes. you prayed, yes. you prophesied over, yes. Her, yes. over him. And I declared, you are healed. You have to receive it. But that is prophesying. Yes. That is the office of the prophet. That's how it works. You remember yesterday when I was teaching, prophet is not all, the office of the prophet is not only prophesying to the people and over the people, but it's a teaching the word of God See, and preaching inspired word of God, inspired by the Holy Spirit. I have to get out of my mind my prejudices and stereotypes I had built in and let myself in a very humble way submit to the Lord and to His Word and let it flow. You are in the right track now. Yes, very much. That's it. You got it. You got it. You already it. Glory to the Lord. <laughs> you have a revelation about it now. Yes, Good. yes, yes. Thank, Thank you. you. Praise the Lord. Glory to Dios. <laughs> Amen. Amen.